Hey guys, this is Simon. How are you guys doing today? It's Sunday again, so here we are in Xinxia, which is probably 30 minutes away from the Taichung city by car. Today they have a special flower festival. It's actually the very last day. So yeah, here we are, just kind of try to experience what they have over here. So you can see from the footage, the weather here in Taiwan is still super, super good, even in December, guys. So yeah, uh, let's see what they have. They got a lot of people here today because the event is free and you don't even need to pay for the parking. Uh, so yeah, actually when you drive inside this place, uh, they got some like parking lot which is owned by some local vendors and they try to charge you for one hundred Taiwan dollar. But just don't park over there, you know. Drive all the way to this place and then they have some free public parking space. Actually, this year they have a special theme, it's called Alice Adventures Flowerland. So, probably every year they have a different theme. So, I don't know if you guys know, let me know in the comment section, alright? So, right now we're just gonna get inside. And by the way, if you ever come here, remember to wear a mask. Well, since today is the last day, so next year, hopefully, we don't even need to have a mask over here, alright? So, let's just get inside and see what they have. So this place is fairly beautiful and also you know once you get to a beautiful place it's my duty to take photo for my wife so here we are again taking photo for my wife We kind of wandered around inside this place a bit and I also took some photo for my wife so I kind of fulfilled my duty so I got some time to talk to you guys so this place isn't too big but I still think it takes a lot of resource and human power to set it up and also you have to reserve a big chunk of land to make it happen so I just couldn't believe this whole event is completely free you don't need to pay a penny to park your car to enter this place and people look like they all enjoy it so yeah I want to say isn't that supposed to be the real meaning of communism but actually Taiwan isn't governed by the communist system but still just want to point that out it's just funny you know so according to the broadcast from the service center we'll have the final last live show for the season at four o'clock in this place uh, I'm not sure how a light show will work during the middle of the day well, it's not the middle of the day to be honest. It's afternoon time, but still the sun is pretty strong. But let's just wait and see how it goes, okay? All right, it looks like that show is... Actually, I won't even call it a show. There is just some music. Actually, the speaker is completely broken. Definitely next year, hopefully they can get some good upgrade. <laughs> And also there is no light involved, just some music in the background, some motion from the sculpture and that's basically it. But anyways, I guess it's better than nothing, right? So overall speaking, I think this flower festival is pretty decent. Of course, it's not the biggest or the best flower festival in the world, but sometimes it doesn't have to be the best for you to enjoy it, right? So if you happen to live near this place and during the season, you can still come to visit. At least this place doesn't charge any money. So that's a good thing, you know. Uh, so actually a lot of festival or public events in Taiwan, they are not that big. Uh, they are, besides this, to be honest sometimes fairly small uh, not a lot of things going on but still you can have a good moment because you don't have to be the number one event or festival for people to enjoy right it actually leads to another thing i have been thinking for a while that is so i've been living in town for almost several months now and at the very beginning when i come here i really find some of the stuff here are really getting outdated such as 
The road sometimes is just too narrow and they don't have a lot of highway subways and they are not that modern compared to some other places but gradually when you live over here you find out that people here even without those amenities they can still enjoy their life yes i mean the speed of transportation may be a little bit slower and sometimes you need to learn to ride a scooter and go to places but people here are fine with that my point is that uh, you don't need to have the best public infrastructure in able to enjoy your life or you don't have to be the number one economy in the world for the people to have a good or decent life here actually we can just take this flower festival as a very good example uh, the local government here for sure they can charge some money for this festival maybe 100 Taiwan dollar per person and then another 100 Taiwan dollar per car which shouldn't be considered very ridiculous right and then use those money and the resource to give this flower festival an upgrade very next year so you know they can have better place more flowers and then for sure they can upgrade that speaker and then more people will come then the economy of the place will get a very good boost but instead they just let everybody come here for free enjoy their life here so sometimes I feel like the general welfare and also the economy they are kind of mutually exclusive for instance, if you have a very decent welfare system, then probably a lot of people they will just choose to just do whatever they want for their life and don't work really hard. And then the economy will probably get slowing down, right? But also on the other side, uh, if you have a fairly low welfare system, people have to work really hard to have a decent life, then everybody have to work their ass off in order to, you know, have a better life. Then the economy will for sure going upwards right i'm not saying that i support a high-end comprehensive welfare system which allow average people to have a very good life without working or doing anything else that's not what i mean because if that's the case then nobody gonna work really hard right that's just the nature of human being and then if nobody work then economy will become really bad and then if the economy become really bad we won't be able to fund all those money to have this welfare system in the first place my point is that we should find the balance between having a decent welfare system and then having a decent uh, economy and who should be able to decide the balance should that be some like supreme leader or should that be decided by the majority of people from the nation i don't know you should tell me So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for this video and as always, like the video, subscribe, catch you on the next one, peace.